Hello friends, I am Sydney Nitzgorski. I have a 10 minute bodyweight strength class for you today. We have six exercises. We're doing three rounds of 30 seconds each. So that leaves one minute of wiggle room for transitioning and showing you the exercises. Obviously you don't need any equipment, it's body weight. Let's get started. First one is push up with a shoulder tap. I am starting the clock. Let's go. All right, two clocks. So push up and then tap right, tap left. You can always drop your knees. Just keep your hips nice and so whatever version you're doing. 30 on, and then we'll just go right to the next exercise. No purposeful rest in between these. You don't have to rush it though. Drop your knees anytime you have to. Get one more push up in and then we'll stand up. All right, I'm moving my water bottle so I have a visual focus for this one. It's a right leg, straight leg deadlift, then we'll do the left side. So plant your right leg down, and then you're gonna reach forward, ideally tap the ground and stand up, all right? Um, we'll do this on both sides, obviously. One side might be harder than the other. If this feels impossible in terms of balance, you kickstand your back leg and you do it this way. You just have to keep a really flat back, okay? You're hinging at the hips. You're not rounding the shoulder blades to get down. And if for some reason you can't down, get down, you just imagine you're touching the floor or put a block there. Let's get one more in and switch sides. All right, it is helpful to have a visual focus. Anything about, I'd say, three to four feet in front of you. Ideally, we're not twisting the hips. I can tell mine's moving a little bit, so I'm gonna slow it down. <laughs> and sometimes you kind of lose your balance. The floor helps you out. Take a nice deep breath in. It's a nice hamstring and glute and low back exercise. After this, we have a nice postural exercise. Get one more in. Beautiful. All right, stand up. We're just doing some, some alphabet, some letters. Y, T, W. That's it for the whole 30 seconds. Chance for your heart rate to come down a little bit if it's up. Postural work. This is such a nice one. I feel like every physical therapist I've ever talked to does this in sessions for shoulder therapy, for posture stuff, for back stuff. The important part is that you're not rounding forwards here. When you make that W, you're not coming forwards. You're pulling down. Sometimes if you think about sticking your chest out, it puts you in the right position. All right, I've lost track of time, I'm being honest. Let's do one more. <laughs> Perfect, all right, real wide of the feet, stationary lateral lunge. So you have to be wider than hip width. You're just gonna sink it to the right, sink it to the left. I aim for my elbow to hit my knee. Then I know I've gone low enough. From the side, this is what it looks like. All my pressure is shifting back. So still, if I take that laser, shoot it up from the toe of my sneaker, my knee never hits it. That's your cue. That means you're going back far enough, your glutes are doing the work, and your knees are not gonna strain. Let's do two more. All right, last exercise before we repeat this all for a second time and then a third time. We're in an elbow plank. Parallel your hands. All we do, drop the knees, pick the knees up. That's it. If you need to just hold a modified plank, you just hold it. Or maybe you hold it for a little longer. I'm trying not to put any pressure. I'm just literally tapping my knees. But if you need to put some pressure and hold a modified plank, you do that. That's okay with me. Take some nice deep breaths here. Try not to clasp your hands together and rotate your shoulders. Keep them parallel. I know that's tempting. Three, two, one. All right. Just take a second, collect yourself. Don't get up though, because we're doing push-ups back to the shoulder taps. Let's start that in. Three, two, one, go for it. Modified or full, push-up, tap, tap. I know when I get tired, I can keep good form if I slow it down. And then at some point I can't keep good form anymore and I'll drop to my knees. And it's so important to be honest about that. I don't care if you can do a sloppy full push-up. I'd so much rather see a really nice quality modified push-up. Get one more in, and then we'll do the single leg toe touches. I started on my right side, so I'm gonna do my left side first now. Plant one leg, and begin tap. Try for that tap to just be the lightest possible, just a little. Sometimes you lose your balance and you really need the floor to help you. So 
the back of your leg and your glute should be a little bit exhausted. Mine is becoming quite exhausted. Last one, switch sides. Always take a second between your right and your left to just find your balance again on that side. Remember, stare at something on the floor. Push your big toe into the ground on the standing leg. And if you can't get to the floor, it's fine. Put a block there or a book or a pillow, something that kind of brings the floor to you. Get one more in. Beautiful. YTWs, my favorite. Y, T, W. If you feel like it, you can do this on one leg. Add a little balance work in. Anytime you challenge your balance, almost always, your core has to respond by tightening up. So the moment you lift one leg, your stomach pulls in. You might not realize it's happening, but I wanna guarantee you that it does. I think on almost everybody it does. Last one, perfect. All right, so I was on my right leg. Next round, I'll be on my left leg. If you can't remember, don't worry about it. Ladder lunge. We're in the second round. This is the end of the second round. We're at six minutes. We have one more round after this. Now we know all the exercises. We can kind of go through them without needing to watch me for the demonstration. If these feel okay, Maybe speed it up. I love body weight exercises. I love them. I feel like they're healthy or they're kind to my joints, which is always something I'm thinking about. I like doing strength with workout with dumbbells as well, but I think if I could choose one, it'd be body weight. All right, elbow planks. Get in position, start to tap your knees nice and gentle. So my hips really don't move. It's just my knees. Again, you need to stop, put a little pressure on them, hold that modified plank before you go back up. That's all good. All right, we have one more round after this. We have about three minutes for it. I think we should be able to make it. One round should take exactly three minutes if there's no transition time. All right, push into a quick child's pose, literally like a one second child's pose. And then go back to the exercise number one, push up with a shoulder tap. Third round, starting right now. Sometimes when I do these modified push ups, I'll lift my feet in the air to try and keep my body in one line. Um, up to you. With these taps, I wanna go a little wider with my knees so that my hips are stable, that's better. And you can always put something under your knees for a little more cushion, a little more support. Get one more in. And then we're back to the straight leg deadlifts. Choose either leg, they've each gone first, doesn't matter, begin. Every time you stand up, pull your shoulder blades back. You can keep your hands together the whole time or separate them. Ideally, both hips are facing the ground. Switch legs in three, two, one. Take your second. Sit. Get balanced. Anytime I try and speed these up, my balance falters. So it's just a reminder, keep it as slow as you need to for good form. Get one more in. Beautiful. YTWs. Go for it. Elbows are pulling right to your side. Chest is out. Close your eyes if you want. If you want to stand on one foot, try and remember the foot that you were on. <laughs> I'm on my left foot. We only have two seconds left anyways. All right, real wide lateral lunge. Go for it. This is our second to last exercise. One after this, and then we're done with the 10 minutes. However, if you have time and you wanna go through this again, go for it. Or maybe you choose another 10 minute video. I love these shorty videos. I feel like you can 
put together what you feel like doing in a day. After this, I'm gonna do some core. Maybe you'll join me. All right, three, two, one. Last exercise in this program, elbow plank. With the knee drop. 30 seconds and we are done, my friends. Pull your belly button up so that you're fighting gravity. By fighting gravity, I mean your transverse abdominis, that deep abdominal layer is fighting gravity. When we're standing, it's a little bit easier to pull it in. And it's a little bit harder in this position. Three seconds left, friends, that's it. Two, one, beautiful, do a quick child pose. Take two deep breaths here. <sighs> Perfect, you guys are awesome. Nice work today. I'm proud of you. I hope to see you soon. My name is Sydney Nitzkorski. Thanks for working out with me. Have a great day. Bye.